Creo 11 introduces full multi-body support for the sheet metal design environment. You can create multiple bodies of category sheet metal in addition to the previously available capability to create multiple basic solid bodies. This can help for the master model use case where bodies are designed in context of a multi-body part to then extract the individual bodies to individual parts of a final assembly. It can also help with use cases where bodies are used to more easily and reliably design a single multi-body part that contains repetitive or mirrored geometric shapes. There are several ways to create sheet metal bodies and create and assign sheet metal geometry to them. The new body command enables you to choose the type of body to create, a solid body or a sheet metal body. Tools such as the planar feature that create independent walls now also offer the body options tab. Sheet metal bodies are shown in the design tree and quilt body evolution tree from where you can highlight, select them and also control their visibility. Here a first example of a boolean subtract operation that you can do between sheet metal bodies. Another way to create a new sheet metal body is to offset a quilt. The shown workflow makes use of reference geometry from an existing body to create the base surface of a body that is inserted into the side wall while perfectly matching the neighboring contour. In Creo 11 you can assign names, appearances, parameters and even different thicknesses to sheet metal bodies. In addition you can trim and split them using the split trim body feature. Furthermore you can also copy, pattern or mirror sheet metal bodies as shown here and apply boolean operations to bodies such as the merge operation illustrated in this video. A flat pattern preview can be quickly invoked per body and there's also a new flat pattern manager feature that automatically creates and manages individual flat pattern features for each body. It also supports the creation of individual flat pattern representations that automatically remove all other bodies. This gives you the option to stay with the multi-body part as final design part and document individual body flat patterns on a drawing. An alternative is the master model approach where you create an individual part from each body. In that case you would not need a flat pattern manager but define a single flat pattern feature in the extracted part and then assemble the individual part in the final design assembly. Creo 11 multi-body design increases user productivity and design efficiency through the support of multi-body design methodologies for the design of sheet metal parts and assemblies. Please refer to other What's New videos for more details on the individual capabilities.